All right, people, I'm sitting on a fancy chair, opening up another fancy chair to decide if I like having two fancy chairs. I got rid of all the unfancy chairs, except for my fancy Dynaudio chairs that I have over here, but those aren't for sale. So the question is, is this fancy chair, as you see from the title, the Aero Creeper, that my uh, Matt, we'll, we'll, we'll call him, are we gonna call him the Mad Scientist? Is that our, uh, is that our um, term for our dry, Dreiss man? And Mad Scientist Dreiss man, Scott Ailes, um, has one of these puppies. And of course, you know, my, I get a little twinkle in my eye when I see something cool. And uh, so he sent me one, and, uh, or had one sent to me. And the question is, is this something that uh, we want for our application of um, you know, all this fab work I'm doing? I need a proper chair for this, right? So let's open it up and take a look at it. I haven't sat in it, I haven't touched it. All I did was saw it briefly at Scott's um, previous shop that uh, he's now moved into a different spot. And uh, the question is, you know, is this, do I want to lay down when I'm changing my diff fluid and stuff like that? That's what, we, that's what we're going to consider on this. I think this might be really useful in detailing and stuff like that. So let's open it up, see what the deal is. The good news is that I know it's, let's see, this is, this is the blue I'm talking about. This isn't douche blue, like on the freaking douche blue. Oh, this is blue. Like this is the best blue, Kyle. There's no other blues necessary. Just blue. No extra. No purple, no green, no yellow, no extra. No shiny sparkles, no flakes, just blue. It's great. So I like this color a lot. I don't know if they're all blue, but anyway, let's, let's get it out of the box and see how this thing works. Oh shoot, it's freaking heavy as crap. So I know that it has super legit casters, just like the, the um, Viper chair has. It's got a nifty little, headrest thingy. So what these things, the guy that makes these, is why, why it has an airplane on the side of it, as you know, Scott was telling me, I mean, they, they make them, and uh, I, I'm guessing it's the typical, you know, engineer story where the guy's a, you know, ex-engineer and he has an airplane and he wants something to help clean the wings. Uh, and so he came up with this puppy. Uh, I like the fact that I can just, you know, take a little nap. This could become the, the OG napping chair. People see me out cold. I'm sure they'll capture some camera footage of that for you if that happens. So let's get this thing out of here. And lay it down. All right, let's consult the instructions for once in my life. So it says to incline seat, lift seat, and allow it to engage. To level seat. Lift tab to disengage. Push like a shopping cart to move around the shop. Carry under your arm to keep it from opening up. This old, this old man is not carrying this thing around in this picture here. Sorry if the old man is the uh, inventor of this, but this sucker weighs too much for that. Let's see, is this, oh yeah, it's freaking heavy as crap. All right, set that aside. This might be our shortest video of all time. I'm trying to extend it out here for you. Oh yeah, 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 that's sick. Okay, get rid of all this protective gear. Heaven forbid I actually have a knife on me. I'm not real man enough to carry a knife around. Cut that off. So it's a nice powder coated frame. The casters look super legit. So, shouldn't be any problem rolling on any kind of floor surface. Oh yeah. So then, let's put a pillow on here for the fun of it. I'm assuming this is a head pillow and not a butt pillow. <laughs> That'd be funny. Yeah, this color is awesome. I want everything in my life to be this color. I want every car that I own to be this color. Oh yeah, you do some, some benching in the garage. <laughs> this is the key. You gotta get under the car. I can't, I can't get under there. There's, can I have a little bit of, oh yeah. There we go. 
That's legit, dude. This pillow, I'm a little too tall for the pillow. I'm gonna have to ditch the pillow. This thing rolls so smoothly though. Let's check it out. This is live action. It's like it changed the oil. Oh shit, it needs to be taller, crap. I'm too big. See, look, my head. <laughs> I'm not quite the right. Is that all the? Shoot. Is that all the further it goes? See, look. Yeah, but then I'm going to slide off. This is Kyle's size. See, Kyle, come, come test it out. Yeah, it's, it's Kyle's size, not, not Matt's size. So we need the XL version. <laughs> and what, you, what I'm going to have, so Jeff's new job is going to be just push me around. So I need Jeff, Jeff get me in position. <laughs> we can make it over that, yeah. And then I can do some twinkle fingers and take a little rest. So I guess... Oh wait, it goes up another click. Help your head, yeah, so let's see. Yeah. Maybe they have a, a big and tall well, you can kind of get your head on it. Yeah, but uh, like now my head is like backwards. I'm like all the blood's gonna rush to my brain. I feel like I'm upside down. <laughs> it's not. You're, you're pretty close. <laughs> Just about. Dang. I, all right, so Mr. Arrow Creeper, if you're over six foot tall, we need this to be another six inches longer, and then I could seriously take a little nap on this thing. So let's put it down. Let's see. How does that work? So what do I do from here? Oh, shit, it just keeps on going. Where's it? Oh, I see. Okay. Okay, now I can do some shoulder presses, but it's still. You're just trying to nap yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess it's not really for napping; it's for working on stuff. Like if you sit forward like this. Oh no, that's no good. <laughs> oh, you do that. Oh boy. Oh boy. So you come back up. That's the lowest position. Let me see here. Mm. See, that's what I need. <sighs> and you can lock the lock the wheels in place. This thing looks good from under here. I don't know what I would use this for, but if for dry ice removal, get I need like a sling for my arm, and I could just. Just chill. So, we have some more adjustments. Let's bring the car down a little bit. Yeah, see, I, I already feel like I'm gonna throw up. My head is four, in, is four inches past it. You know what I'm saying? Like my head goes way past the pad. So, I don't know. Yeah. We need a Aero Creeper XL for real men, not babies. Not babies. Ain't no baby. Let's see. Eh, yeah, it does. Maybe it helps a little bit. Maybe that's how you, the solution he came up with for if you're a little taller. No. Mm, kind of. Well, no. Look at how cool, why am I sitting with my head like that? <laughs> I just feel the necessity to like sit with my head back like that. Oh yeah, you put your feet here. You can just kind of rip the car off the lift because you're too lazy to do anything. I'm telling you, if you're like working on the steering rack or something, just sit here. Hmm. Yeah, it rolls really nicely. Obviously, 
I'm probably rarely going to sit with the thing all the way back. So if I'm, you know, detailing or something like that, would I rather have this? So let's put the car all the way down to a more manageable level and see if this is something that could be useful, you know, detailing on the lift. Like, let's say I was doing some polishing. Have my polisher. I could kind of lean back here. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with it. I'm gonna be uh, just like uh, screwing in a piece of plywood to the back so I can fit my head on it. Yeah, because I mean, if you're like tall, like if you're 6'5", forget it, you're not gonna fit on this thing. It's too short. And all you would need, it's just a pad. Is you know because there's a there's a plywood backing in this, so all we would need. I wonder if you could, if I could just take it. Oh god dang! I wonder if I could just take the. Uh, here I am already modifying something, but if I took the screws out and just left a bigger gap here and moved it up one section. The quality is super nice. I like the vinyl. Even the screen printing is pretty cool. Um, should I try it? Take it apart? Let's do it. Now we're going to make it a 45 minute long video. More my style. Let's take these screws out. I love this thing. This is the Surge version. I use this thing more than anything. This will probably be the first video this company's ever had. I'm not gonna get it from me. I'm gonna flip his lid. Uh-oh. Do they glue it on here too? I bet you they do. No. Sorry, Scott, I'm ruining the chair you sent me already. This is what I do. Ruin stuff. Ah. So, we could make new holes if I wanted to just use the existing holes. So if I took put this through and just moved it up one hole, is that going to be too much? Let's just put two in and see how it goes. Let's see if this now, if this open back is gonna be no good. I kinda like it, actually. See, now I've got the right amount of headroom. Let's put all the screws in. Shoot, I don't think that would grab anything. Okay, so let's bring it down. Let's see, lift this up here. It takes the latch off. Now my pillow can be maximized for napping. There we go. Still feel like a little, like I need a little, something feels a little off. I need my head, I need like a double pillow, like right here. 
I need to take the pillow, turn it sideways. That way it holds my head like right here. Now I can work with zero effort. You know what I'm saying? Let's put the car back up a little bit. Let's go down. I keep that little pocket there. Makes me second guess it. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to play with this. Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna have to test this out a little bit more. It rolls nicely, really solidly constructed. It's the right color. Um. I'm gonna have to take a couple naps on it to see how it goes. I mean, that's what I would primarily want this for. You know, you know, like when you're frustrated, you just smash your, like when I smash my wrist off the spring and I'm like, I just need a minute. I would ha wanna have this handy so I could use it dual purpose. Go and cry myself to sleep <laughs> when I need to mess something up and use it for some work sometimes. Hmm, interesting. But it's certainly high quality. You can easily roll around. And I think, I wonder, like if you were on jack stands, would this work as a floor creeper? That I'd completely mess it up by. Like, could you, could you floor creep this? Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, that's way better than any creeper I've ever used. This is the best video we've ever made. <laughs> so I could, I could use this for checking on people working. I could kind of come in stealth mode and just come under the desk. <laughs> I can't get up now, but that's the problem. I would need the brakes on. <sighs> Yeah, this is easily the best video we've ever made. Aero Creeper, modified, 30 seconds into ownership. Made for, made for bigger people now. I'm telling you this little butt pocket here scares you a little bit because it feels like you're gonna fall in a hole and get an abyss, but it does actually work. Yeah, it does actually kind of fit. Why do my hands immediately go to my head like this? It's like automatic. It's like I can't, I can't just go down. It's like I immediately got to get into relaxed mode. Maybe you should take that with you to like your therapy session. <laughs> so, yeah. That's the Arrow Creeper. I'll let you know if we decide to, I got to use it some more. Let's see if it's uh, something we eat for, you know, normal garage application, if it makes sense. So, yeah, stay tuned for more Lazy. See you soon. <laughs>